Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. We asked our Twitter followers what they want to see in the next video uh, on our Pocketnow video YouTube channel. We got a lot of answers. People wanted to see the notification system, flash in the web browser, gaming performance, and some other things. So we're going to roll a bunch of these things into this video. If you want to be a part of the discussion on Twitter, we are at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. So let's get started. I'm going to turn on the device and zoom in on the screen. First thing you'll notice here is that I have a missed call from my line. It's a really great way uh, that Android shows notifications through this um, little notification area down here. So let's unlock. And of course, on Android devices, this is not unique to the desire, we have the window shade. So we can pull down the window shade and see missed calls, uh, missed SMS, new program updates, new tweets on Twitter and a lot of other things. And it's really fantastic because right from here you can action on all your notifications. If I, tapped on, if I tap on missed call, I am taken to call history. If there's a new tweet and I tap on that, it will take me into Twitter peak and so on and so forth, or I can clear the notifications so I don't see them anymore. Okay, so let's go into the internet and talk about uh, the flash support on the desire. So we're gonna go to a couple of websites that do flash. Let's start with flash.com. That's Adobe's website for flash. And I spelled that wrong. Here we go. Okay, here it comes. You get a little waiting cursor there, and it should load. There it comes, flash content on the desire. It's not super ultra smooth, but it's definitely good enough. So, move it over here. All right. So a little bit choppy. Let's go to another website. Let's go to nvidia.com, which also has some flash content. And then we're going to go to Hulu after that. And this is actually flash. It's not really moving right now, uh, but you can take my word for it that it is. So let's go to hulu.com, which I can tell you does not work, unfortunately. Uh, it's really hard to get Hulu to work on a mobile device. The desire is no exception. Let's see what happens when we try to play a Hulu movie. So you get the waiting cursor, which means that the flash content is loading, and you even get that. And let's move around and actually try to play something here. You get the waiting cursors over here. All of these are flash based. And let's uh, click on, we'll just click on this main story here, Saturday Night Live. Okay, and so we get another waiting cursor, and it looks like it's going to play. Loading video, so far so good. wonder if it's going to play today. I'd be surprised. And this is what we get here. Sorry, we are unable to stream this video. Please check your internet connection and try again. So you cannot get Hulu, but a lot of Flash content on the web you can get. If you go to YouTube and you try to play a video, let me show you what happens there. It doesn't actually play in the browser. It goes into the HTC um, YouTube application, which is quite fine. So we can tap on the first one we see here. And it opens up in the HTC Flash Player, which is okay. And we can Fast forward, People got their first look at him. and there you go. Okay, so that was Flash in the web browser. Let's take a look at gaming performance. I've got a pretty intense game called Raging Thunder Light on here. Let's see if I can find it. I think it's in the application tray, uh, which is a high-speed game um, that really takes advantage of the hardware. So let's load it up, and I'll get into a better camera angle. Okay, here we are, Raging Thunder Light. It's a free application. Single player. So really impressive here. Des Desire does very, very well at uh, gaming graphics, so let me get out of here. And finally for this video, let's see what happens when somebody calls your phone. I'll give you a hint, you get very big and beautiful picture caller ID. And there it goes. Okay, and in the screen you'll see the picture of the person, you can end the call, open up the dial pad, um, 
open up the uh, contact card or you can put on the speaker or mute it. Or of course you can multitask by doing other things. The screen just shut off after a certain amount of time. Okay, so that was just a quick look at some of the things you wanted to see on the HTC Desire. Coming up next, we're gonna go through all of the settings on the device, um, and then that'll be pretty much it, unless you wanna see more. Be sure to tell us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.